Good morning, I'm Candace Galise with a look at today's top stories. And as the death toll continues to rise across states in the southeast, hurricane relief efforts are underway. The American Red Cross of Greater Pennsylvania is deploying volunteers to the severely hit areas. CBS 21's Yasmin Cowan joining us in New York this morning with more information. Hey, Yasmin. Hi, Candace. I'm with Christina Mazel, the communications director with the American Red Cross in Greater Pennsylvania. And Christina, there are two volunteers now making their way to Tennessee. It's a 10 hour drive. What will they do once they get there to serve communi communities in Tennessee? Yes, so uh, thank you so much for having us. Our uh, teams are headed to Tennessee and other states across the southeast that are feeling the catastrophic effects of Hurricane Helene. Once they get there, our focus is on sheltering people, making sure they have a place, a safe place to stay, and making sure they have meals and water and comfort and care for those who have lost everything after this disaster. Yes, and how long will the volunteers stay there for? So our standard deployment is two weeks. They'll be on the ground helping people there. And then we will continue to be sending volunteers down in the d weeks and months to come. This is going to be a long operation, and we know that we'll have people down there to help. Yes, and as you said, this will be a long operation. So how many volunteers across the state would you say are helping out? So far, we've deployed more than 30 volunteers to help in states like Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, Tennessee that are feeling the effects of this. And we anticipate to send more as the uh, operation goes on. Mm -hmm. And for volunteers, for people who aren't in Tennessee right now helping out, what can they do? So there are two things that we can do here in central PA, even if you don't have the time to volunteer. One of those is to make a financial donation to the Red Cross. It's the easiest way that we can get help to those who need it. That's you can go to redcross.org and make a donation. Or you can donate blood. More than 2,500 blood collections have gone uncollected in the South due to canceled blood drives because roads aren't accessible, there's no power. People here can make an appointment to donate blood. You can go to redcrossblood.org to make an appointment to help restock the blood supply. As a national blood supplier, we can get blood where it's needed most. Thank you, Christina. And if you would like to help, you can visit the American Red Cross website to see how you can help. In York County, I'm Yasmin Cowan, CBS 21 News. Yeah, thanks so much, Yasmin. Hopefully people are going to step up and donate blood and, of course, help all those who are hurting. CBS 21 is partnering with the Salvation Army and our parent company for Sinclair Care's Hurricane Helene Relief to assist with humanitarian relief efforts in the southeast. And those funds raised, they're going towards emergency aid, including clean water, food, and cleanup kits. Sinclair is going to match the first $50,000 raised at SinclairCares.com. So to donate and get that match, go to that website, SinclairCares.com. You can also scan that QR code you see right there on your screen and go ahead and make a donation.